Flavor family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the kitchen to make the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. And not only the ultimate in terms of taste and texture, the best, most healthy grilled cheese you can ever get. It's basically a culmination of a lot of stuff we learned at the grocery store about the right bread to buy, the right cheese to buy, and putting that into principle to making a nutrient-dense, healthy grilled cheese that's crispy, seasoned perfectly, and perfectly ooey-gooey. You're gonna love it, and it's crazy easy, and this is the kind of food you want to eat if you're going to eat something guilty pleasure or something on a cheat day. Before we start this super easy recipe, you know the drill. Subscribe, like, share. Most importantly, below this video is a little itty bitty bell icon. Enable all notifications because every single week, three or four videos going live now, you don't want to miss out. And the Flav City podcast called the Flav City Shopping Experience launches new episodes every Tuesday morning. All the links are down below. All right, first up, let's talk about bread. If you watch the Flav City bread review video, you know the best in class bread is sprouted bread, right? So when this video is done, if you haven't seen the video for the bread review, check it out. Sprouted bread is best in class because your body derives more nutrition from sprouted grains. These are grains like uh, seeds, sprouts that are soaked in water until a little tail forms. What's the beauty of that? When you sprout something like that, there's more nutrition your body derives from it and it's more easy on the tummy to digest. This is the best in class bread out there. This is Ezekiel. They're the OGs, right? Everyone knows about them, but here's the deal. I know you guys, right? And I know some of your kitties, they probably don't like Ezekiel because it's really hearty and almost has like a healthy taste and texture. There's another brand. This is called Silver Hills. And this one is called the Little Big Bread. This is the one you wanna get if you have a picky eater because it's like a white sandwich bread. It's soft and fluffy, but look at the ingredients here. Everything's organic and it's sprouted. That's what you wanna look for in bread. You don't want breads that have enriched flour, bleached flour, uh, preservatives. You want organic sprouted grains. Keeping it OG, I love cheddar cheese, but look at this one. This is, in my opinion, the best one on the market. It's not sponsored by them. You can find other brands, but it's raw, organic, 100% grass-fed milk. So once again, we have a video all about cheese at the grocery store. If you haven't seen that, watch it at the end of this video. You don't wanna eat conventional cheese because it comes from what I call Monsanto milk. What is that? That's cows that are e eating a strict diet of GMO grain, specifically soy and corn, that is from GMO corn, right? Our good buddies, Monsanto. You don't want that in your body because I believe that GMO side effects go into the milk, to the dairy, and into the meat. So if you don't want to get grass-fed, you can get organic. Organic is eating a strict organic feed, which is very important. But when you get grass-fed milk, it's from pasture-raised cows that are better for the environment because they're actually pruning the uh, lawn. Uh, it's better for the farmer because they're not into a mass pen. And it's better for you because the nutritional profile of organic and grass-fed cheese is way higher than conventional cheese. I know it's a little more expensive. You can get cheaper than this uh, grass-fed cheese at Aldi. And I know Trader Joe's has a couple, but it's not in the block form. It's uh, in the slice form. So let's go ahead and grate this on the largest setting in the box grater. And not only is this grass-fed, but it's raw. So the pasteurization process doesn't kill any of the enzymes like it normally does in the cheese-making process. And put a generous amount of the grass-fed cheese on the sprouted bread. Pinch over just a little bit of salt to really bring out that cheese flavor. A couple cracks of black pepper, and then pop the top on. All right, now it is time to cook the grilled cheese. So I have a nonstick pan here, which don't worry, nonstick is 100% safe as long as you treat it right. What do I mean by that? Some people get freaked out when they see me using nonstick on my Instagram stories, which if you're not following me on the Flav City Instagram, every night in this very kitchen, we make dinner and we do stories of it. It's a lot of fun. My dad, Johnny P, comes over from down the block. He's got a cult following. Nonstick, as long as you don't put it over high heat on the stovetop or over 400 degrees in the oven, it's 100% safe. And as long as you don't use things that can scrape the Teflon, 100% safe. You got to use that for certain egg cooking. For this, it's really easy because the bread just flips super easily. Now, cooking oil. Now, there are a couple recipes that use, uh, that use mayonnaise. If you're going to use mayonnaise on your bread, you have to use the healthiest mayonnaise on the market. And that is going to be avocado oil mayonnaise. Thank God that Costco finally traded up. Check this out. They now have the sugar-free Sir Kensington's uh, mayonnaise there. If you watch my Costco reviews in the past, I've always given them crud because they use 
sugar. They got rid of it. Now it's in a glass jar. This is fantastic. The reason why we don't use conventional veggie oil uh, based mayonnaises, canola oil, soybean oil are GMO. They're highly processed and refined and they're highly inflammatory to your body. So if you're more inclined to spread the bread with mayonnaise, which is a very popular technique, instead of putting oil in the pan, get avocado oil mayonnaise. It is fantastic. So I'm actually going to use olive oil. And I'm using extra virgin olive oil. This is my cooking EVOO that I get from Costco in that big tub. It's not up to snuff for me for like using for uh, finishing on top of dishes, but I love to cook with it. So I'm going to add the, <laughs> can I add the olive oil? There's not enough. It's going to be a blend. There's going to be a blend of olive oil and avocado oil, another super hard healthy oil. So let's add that to the pan art. Enough to barely coat the bottom of the pan. And then what I like to do is actually season the pan. I feel like Gordon Ramsay in the burger video. Season the pan, season the grill. And then a couple cracks of pepper. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So I let the pan warm up over medium to medium low heat. I know this seems weird and you'll be like, that's an excess of, excessive use of salt. It's not because it's gonna stick to the crust of the bread and help create a very flavorful, crunchy crust that actually makes the flavor buds explode. Trust me, it's really worth it. All right, let's put the sandwich in the pan. Perfect. I need a little bit of weight on there. So I'm going to take a pan here. Actually, a small pot that I use for quinoa in the morning. And then I'm going to weigh it down with some coffee grinds. Now, I don't have like a George Foreman grill. I don't have a panini press. But hey, I think this pressure is really important to making the cheese super, super melty and getting a nice crust on there. Use any weight you want. I know it looks super weird, but give me about four minutes. You'll see the crust and you'll be like, a maliva. All right, it's been about five minutes. Take a look. How's that look on the other side, Art? Nice. Right? So that's what you want. I took the weight off of there because the bread is actually pretty soft and spongy. And then I almost forgot for all my gluten-free family out there, I've got you covered with the best gluten-free bread in the land. So if you're gluten-free, this is the best one in my opinion. It's, check it out, Canyon Bakehouse. Why is this the best one? Because a lot of times with gluten-free breads, they put a lot of simple starches in there. Canyon is nice because they use a lot of whole grain, gluten-free grains in there. So we have obviously a little bit of tapioca, which is fine, but there's brown rice. There's teff. There's quinoa, amaranth, extra virgin olive oil. So really high quality ingredients. A few more minutes on the second side. How does that look, you guys? Beauty. Nice and golden. Perfect. All right, so sandwich is great, but here's what I don't want you to do. Look at this. Don't put your sandwich down on the board. If you do that, condensation is going to get trapped underneath the board in the bread, hence making the bread soggy. So put a plate there and just lean it on the side. That way you have good even airflow there. And I know you didn't think making a grilled cheese could be this technical, but I'm telling you, these are the tips to making the best ever, healthiest ever grilled cheese. Now we could stop there, but I got to do an ode to my man, Jamie Oliver. He makes a, a cheese toasty, what they call it in the UK, with a cheese crown. I want to copy him because I think it's the coolest thing. So check it out, Art. Same pan going over medium heat. We'll take some of that grass-fed cheese and just sprinkle it in there. For the kids, this is going to be super, super fun. So now I'm just going to carefully put the sandwich in, press it down like that. And we have some culinary glue action going there. I'm going to let it cook into the crust for just 30 seconds or so. All right, see how the cheese is kind of baking onto the bottom of the pan? That's what you want. And then I'll just lift it up like this and let it fall down like gravity. Insert John Mayer music right here. <laughs> Do its work. Oh, my kidding, we can't afford that. <laughs> and then as it cools for just a second, the cheese hardens in that position. Give the cheese a chance to harden up. Oh, ho, ho, so you get that. That is awesome, you guys. Now, I'm not taking credit for this. This is all Jamie Oliver, one of my inspirations and mentors in life that I've learned a lot from. But come on, you give this to your kitties, it'll make them get past the fact that this is a healthy sprouted bread because they're going to be like, dang, dad. Dang, mom, you are the coolest person around. How awesome is that? Cheese crown. Cheese crown, baby. Forget about Prince William. You got a cheese crown. King of cheese. <laughs> you cutting the cheese? Yeah, I'm going to cut the cheese. Exactly. Thank you, Art. <laughs>
There you go. I didn't get the cheese pull, but that's all right because there's plenty of cheese in there. All right, you guys, there it is. The ultimate grilled cheese sandwich and one of the healthiest ones you can make. Yeah, it's still a grilled cheese sandwich, but at least you're rocking the right bread, the right cheese, and the cheese crown. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. You know it's crunchy and <laughs> it's done right when your five-month-old little baby girl looks at you like, please, give me a bite of that. Wow. This ain't like the grilled cheese you had growing up. It is just full of flavor. I'm telling you, that salt and pepper crust, Bubba, that's where it's at. And that cheese is so darn good. All right, you guys, that is it. Very, very easy recipe, but it's down below in the description box. When you go to the recipe on flavecity.com, do me a favor, pin it, share it, share the love. Um, <laughs> what's up, Mama? You want some of this, don't you? Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. The uh, links and the info for the bread and the cheese that you should be buying for yourself and your family are down below. The videos are streaming below me right now. But Art and I and Rose, we'll see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. It's so good, baby. My God. Make this. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jesse wants some.